Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And today I want to talk about Royal Weapons. Royal Weapons are super cool. They are excellent reward that you get for completing the follower quests. And not only do they look cool, which is obviously the most important thing, they are also pretty badass from a stat point of view. So today I want to talk about our personal top five Royal Weapons. Of course, there is a degree of personal preference here. And naturally speaking, you should gravitate towards the ones that you like the most. But I have chosen my favorite ones from the available rewards. So if you guys do enjoy this like be super appreciated comment down below if you have crafted any of these if you unlock them and also let us know which ones are your personal favorites but to begin with let's start with the great sword the royal orders great sword plus very original name of course this is basically super classic this is pretty much old school design it is like your classic buster sword in fact if you wear the gormagala armor and you squint hard enough it kind of makes you look a little bit like guts in berserk i mean you kind of need to be a bit imaginative with this but just go with us here you gotta squint real hard anyway that being said this of course is unlocked by completing admiral gallius's quest and it unlocks after master rank 5 the follow quest you need to do this one is burning air trembling earth when talking about the stats of course the rarity 10 version has 320 attack these all have a pretty nice chunk of purple sharpness maybe not the highest when compared to some of the other available options but when you consider this has good base raw attack nice purple sharpness decent affinity a 10 percent also thrown in a defense bonus and you also have some nice slots to play with not the biggest slots so of course not fully customizable, but you do have a nice level two and level one slot on the regular decoration front, followed by a level two rampage slot. And there are definitely some really nice level two rampage skills. So consider checking this one out. Moving on from there, of course, you know, your boy is biased. I love Sword and Shield, but I can't do a list without talking about the Sword and Shield. It looks hella cool. Look, we all love Fiorain, right? She is an absolute badass. If you guys have completed the game and you fought the final boss, you will know why. If you haven't, then you'll of course get there. Any of you guys that do know why, let me know in the comments down below. But she's an absolute badass. It's a very regal looking design. And of course, who doesn't want to rock her weapon? 10 out of 10. This one can be unlocked by completing Fiorain's Master Rank 2 follower quest, an audience with the Queen and reaching Master Rank 2. So you can also get it pretty early on in the game. Again, statistically, we are looking at largely speaking the same as the Great Sword, good base raw attack, nice purple sharpness, 10% affinity, same defense bonus, and the same slot setup. So if you guys like the regal look and you want some decent stuff to work with, then this is a nice pick. Moving on from there, we then have the Royal Order Bowgun. This one, look, right, Monster Hunter, it's a fantasy game, and there's something special about guns that look a little bit more realistic. All right, we've got plenty of things that look like laser cannons and things like the Far Sight from Perfect Dark, but having things that are traditional, old school guns, kind of cool, to be honest. Sox's personal favorite is, of course, the Kashala's gun, because it looks like a giant handgun, but the Royal Order comes in as a close second with basically a dual barrel shotgun. The Royal Order's Bowgun can be unlocked by completing Luchika's Master Rank 2 follower quest, Fruit vs. Firearm and reaching Master Rank 2. This one again has 392 base attack, 10% affinity, same defense bonus. It does of course lack the level one slot, but very similar setup on the decoration front. And again, some other decent shot type options. Moving on from there, we then have the Royal Order Bludgeon. This hammer is basically like an oversized mace. Look, right, Monster Hunter weapons are ridiculous. Some of the weapons, I'm not gonna lie, in Sunbreak are huge. Have you guys seen the Garangon weapons? And they've done the same for this one as well. This thing, I mean, hammers are always big, all right, but this thing is meaty. However, this, of course, can be unlocked by completing Arlo's Master Rank 3 follower quest, Enshrined Resentment, and clearing the Keep It Busy quest. I always like this one as well, because it almost looks kind of like one of those just like bells that you ring in a church kind of thing. I don't know, I'm just like trying to sort of piece things together, but it is just ridiculous sometimes the best weapons are the most ridiculous looking ones and this one is hella nice hammer is really cool in sunbreak i feel like hammer got slept on for a little while in rise definitely had some cool moves but i feel like people didn't necessarily appreciate them too much but there's definitely some fun stuff to mess around with so why not pick this one up as well and then finally, the last one in my top five list goes towards the Claymore, the Longsword, the Royal Order's Claymore. This, I mean, look, it is a Claymore. Who does not want the traditional old school Claymore? This thing, again, is huge. I mean, look at it. The sheath is tiny, ridiculous. Any of those cosplay fans out there that want a Claymore on their back for any of the sort of uh, cosplays you want to make, then this will be your go-to weapon. This can be obtained as a reward for completing the flame that burns within follower quest. And again, statistically, this is a very similar setup. 310 base raw attack. Again, very nice purple sharpness and again some slots to choose from so statistically these are all very similar but of course i am choosing these purely from uh, my favorite point of view and there are definitely some hella cool things these are definitely your much more traditional weapons i personally lean more towards some of the crazy wacky ones but 
For those of you that want to go around and be like the regal knights, then you definitely don't want to sleep on these. However, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments down below again which ones are your favourites, and be sure to stay tuned for plenty more. If you've missed some of our recent videos, you can check out one of these ones. I'll catch you guys in the next one.